Good afternoon everyone, welcome to our small footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off-grid in Australia. It is that time of the month, so the video I'm bringing you today is our monthly food hamper that we get from the local, I'm gonna refer to it as like a, a food pantry, a food bank, that kind of a thing. So we live regional, obviously, though if you're new here, you wouldn't know that. We live regional, uh, we're about an hour and a half from Toowoomba, and the, uh, about three and a half to four hours from Brisbane. A4 Community Care is in Brisbane and we have a lovely couple out here, Peter and Lois, who organize for a load of hampers to come out to us to be able to collect from them each month. So we order in advance and they bring the hampers out. So they are $50. They are for whoever wants them. You don't have to have, you know, pension cards or anything like that. It is entirely, uh, available to anyone who wants or needs them and they're fifty dollars and you get what you get so each month is a variety of foods uh that you get some of it's short dated some of it is just excess some of it's individual serves some of it's cooked foods it, it really varies every month uh, we are extremely grateful to peter and lois for organizing for this to happen because because we only shop every six to eight weeks it means that we get this hamper somewhat in the middle of all that and it means we get a little bit of a boost of fresh food in between and some treats for the kids a lot of things that i wouldn't purchase generally speaking so they come in the hamper and they're something that the kids feel like is just a really big treat to get so uh the hampers also have they have some other stuff to help with cost savings so some items that you can pay money for dollar two dollar whatever for items and they also have produce bins hopefully each month they don't always have them but they do try and get produce bins as well and then you give gold coin donations uh we're in australia so our one dollar coins and two dollar coins are gold i did get asked that last time so gold coin donation means dollar two dollar coins that sort of thing whatever you donating above and beyond a gold coin and you get access to the to the produce bins as well. So this month there was pumpkins, sweet potatoes, apples and carrots. No, sorry, apples and tomatoes. <laughs> uh, wrong season for carrots. Uh, tomatoes. So you take along a box or they have some bags and stuff and you give gold coin donations and you can access the big produce bins and take some of that fresh produce home as well as your hamper that is pre-packed that you collect. So, uh, all that to say that it is the week that we get that. So we got that today and I filmed that for you to share what we got. Everyone always enjoys seeing it because it's a little bit like a, yeah, a bit Christmassy because it's, you never know what you're going to get. And then you lay it all out on the table and then that adds to my meals for the next two weeks. So it is the, oh, I don't know. I want to say the 20th or something today. I don't know. It's Saturday. And I go down to Brisbane for shopping on the 7th. Uh, so I've got a medical appointment in Brisbane on the 7th and then I'll come back a couple of days after that for uh, when I do my shopping and come back. So we've still got two weeks until I'm leaving back, however it works. I'd have to look at a calendar. I'm a little bit lost at the moment. I've confused myself. I can't even remember what date it is today. But anyway, there's a couple more weeks left before I do my groceries. So this hamper will help to just bump up some of the stuff that we've got anyway. We we don't run out of food, but it does get a little bit boring and same old, same old towards the end of the the six-week cycle. And this is an eight-week cycle, this particular shop. So uh, it's always nice to get that hamper, have some extra fresh produce, some extra fresh fruit for the kids. There's always canned fruits on the shelf. Like I've got jars and jars of apple butter and stewed apples and stewed plums and things like that. So I make plenty of stuff with fruit, even when we haven't got fresh fruit, but they do love to have fresh fruit. So it's really great to do that. So again, A4 Community Care in Brisbane is the one who organizes the one for out here, but there is quite a few options. I know there's a loaves and fishes in Toowoomba. There's um, a lighthouse care, I think it is in Slacks Creek in Brisbane. And uh, Generally speaking, if someone asks me a specific location, I go looking for something for them as well. And I've found quite a few all over the place. So hopefully there's something nearby for you as well if you need to access it. And here it is. So this is this month's hamper for, we're in January. <laughs> so this is January's hamper from A4 Community Care. And this is what we got. Alrighty. 
Alrighty, so we got some loaves of bread. There's a few different loaves of bread there. Uh, four, five loaves of bread, a packet of English muffins and a packet of the sandwich thins. There's also a box of Kringle and Co brandy snaps. So something from Christmas. I don't know that I've ever tried them. It'd be interesting. There's a bag of some uh, bagged individual popcorn, a two liter of milk, a uh, liter of lactose free milk and a two liter of UHT milk and then three of these vanilla yogurts. There's a box of these VitaWheat crackers, a bag of what appears to be crumbed chicken pieces, some chicken tonight sauces, a honey mustard and mild butter chicken, a tin of beans and some lemon and pepper tuna. There's a couple of bags of these grated tasty cheese. There's a box of honey flake crunch cereal, some sliced cheese, a bag of licorice all sorts, and then a variety of the miscellaneous sort of treats. There's some Freddo biscuits, a fruit bar, an LCM protein bar, a chocolate of some sort. There is some Manic Panic hair dye, which Sonnet will be very excited about been meaning to buy them some hair dye recently and haven't got around to it. Some roasted salted soybeans and noodles, uh, some Pringles, more noodles and this looks like toothpaste maybe. Some Vegemite and some rice and dried pasta as well. There's a couple of hand sanitizers in there too. Uh, another rice there. And then a few different drinks here. It's an orange carbonated. There's a Pepsi, a raspberry, a Red Bull. There's a Worcestershire sauce and some hand soap there as well. Uh, and the garlic aioli, the kombucha garlic aioli. A couple of pumpkins. Some of the single serve meals that I always take down to mum because she's got a microwave and lives by herself so it makes sense for that. Some what looks like marinated chicken and some marinated salmon pieces and a couple of the uh, casseroles that they do as well, chicken vegetable casseroles. We paid a little bit extra for a few different bits and pieces, some potatoes and carrots that were I think Daryl said a dollar or, or something, but they were a little bit extra on top. A roll of toilet paper. There was a box of apples and sweet potatoes that I believe came with the hamper. And then we paid the extra gold coin donations for some tomatoes. And I think there's another box of apples somewhere that we paid the donation for as well. So that was this month's A4 Community Care Hamper. So lots of great produce there. Uh, the apples and everything have to go in the fridge and then the tomatoes I'll need to do something with in the next day or so because they're quite deep in that box. And we all know with tomatoes that if you, let me just try and get out of the sun there a little bit, that if you uh, leave the weight like that, they'll get bruised. So I'll pull them out tomorrow. We've only got, I think, one jar of salsa left on the shelf. Uh, so I'd like to make up some more salsa. And we were going to try and make tacos again at some point and make some pico de gallo to go with them. So we'll see how we go with that with using some of those tomatoes. Um, and I need to get some of those sweet potatoes used as well because we've still got some left as well and we're having having some issues with the bush rats around here so bush rats are native and they're sort of they're almost possum like rather than rat like uh, so they don't eat like wires and, and all that sort of stuff. They eat produce, uh, fruit, veggies, uh, food that gets left around. And because our kitchen is out on the patio, it causes a few issues. So we have to make sure to put things inside containers that they can't get to overnight or they will come out and have a go at it. Um, so yeah, we need to figure that out as well. So thank you for joining me again today and I will see you again on the next video. I might come back tomorrow because tomorrow is Sunday and do a chat and let you know how the car's going. And we've got all the stuff together to do our um, seed staging, seedling staging set. So we might get that done. Also got the float for the grey water pump. So hopefully we can get something done with that in the next couple of days as well. So that my fruit trees can get a well-deserved water. So thank you guys and I'll see you next time.